Alrighty then, here we go again. It's another wonderful day. I did not record myself going home yesterday because I had plans after work and my drive home was disjointed. But I do really need to start being a little more careful about not filming things because I am now catching up to where I am when I'm editing stuff and I'm barely like a month ahead. And so I really need to stay on top of um, filming the two videos a day. Otherwise, eventually I'm gonna catch up with myself and that's not somewhere I wanna be. But to the same end, I kind of knew that this might happen and um, I have a vacation planned in May and the hope there would be that during the month of May, I can um, record a whole bunch of stuff and punch myself ahead of schedule again. Because like I had a four day weekend with Thanksgiving and I was able to get a lot of stuff filmed during that four day weekend. And then something that kind of killed my progression was um, we took a vacation for a week and a half and I only filmed um, I think uh, we only filmed I, or I only filmed two videos while on vacation and so like in a week's time I would normally film at least 10 videos and I filmed two so there was a lot of lost time in that week and a half Oh, there's me on the billboard again. I'm just gonna call that every morning. But um, there is a lot of lost time there for a week and a half where I just did not film anything. And then here lately, I've been filming less and less. And that tends to be like how things work for me. I hit something super hard and then when it doesn't succeed, I pivot but I oftentimes pivot too soon. It's like I haven't been hitting this hard enough, long enough for me to really be like, oh, this is something that could possibly work. Like I look at these other channels on YouTube, the ones that are succeeding or at least have a level of success that I would be proud to have. And a lot of them have been doing it at least for a year, if not longer. Like I think it took Sam Sue like about a year to build his following up. I think it took um, uh, Dry Creek Wrangler School, I think they said two years to do theirs. And so we'll see. The thing with like Sam Sue, like, is he's clearly like physically he's an enigma. And so like maybe that is why, like, I don't know. I, I'm constantly like self-conscious that I just don't have a good enough thing to like stick out from the crowd and be unique. I feel like I resonate with people very well in person, but not so much over the camera. And like another thing is like, I feel like I am more personable when I'm talking to someone than when I'm just like talking to the camera. Oh, you guys can't even see half my head. There we go. I need to remember to tilt the camera up so you guys can get a better angle. But at any rate, my hope here is that, and there should be no reason why I can't, but my hope here is that I can plug along until May, and then when May comes, I can load up a whole crap load of videos, because I'll be off for like a week and a half, and then I'll have every Friday off, and I'll be off um, again in Memorial Day. So the hope here is I can kind of limp along until May, and then when May comes, I need to make like a concerted effort to record a crap load of videos to punch myself ahead of schedule again, because that's what it takes. I was really hoping that I would be done with videos by May, but um, I now think that that's not gonna happen unless I punch through and record just like an ungodly amount of videos during my vacation. I don't think it's gonna happen. Because I have to think about like, right now I'm guaranteed two videos a day because I'm driving to and from work every day. And even then I'm still, as I just said, not using that guarantee. I am 
um, still finding ways out of filming videos. And so, hopefully, um, in May, I can have a pretty large video profile and make up a good profile of content. And But like, like I said, the difference is, is like I have all the time in the world, which is great, but I also have like no commitments, which is not great. Like I'm committed to going to work and coming home from work every day so far. And so that's a commitment that keeps me productive with my work or with my videos. But in May, I won't have that commitment. So I can most definitely um, record more because I won't be working. But I also need to hold myself to a higher standard. Be like, you need to at least, at the very least, make two videos a day, if not more. So we'll see what happens. Um, just really hoping that we start to gain some traction there. My most viewed video, still to this day, is a video I made with Life is Strange 3, and it was how to um, keep Gabe alive. And it was really just a meme, it was a joke. Um, and like, it's something that people search a lot. And so because of that, it's like the number one search result when you ask how to save Gabe in Life is Strange True Colors, my, um, my video pops up. And it's got like 20,000 views. It's not like something that the whole world's really paying any attention to, but it does make me want to go back to doing like a gaming channel of some sorts. And like I don't necessarily like the gaming channel route because I feel like it's such a saturated market. But, um, and like I said, I've said this before, but like I'm a multifaceted person and I feel like it's fair to have a multifaceted channel. Like I'll make gaming videos, I'll make writing videos, I'll make um, random videos of me talking while driving to work. But, like, I'm into a multitude of things. And so to single out one thing and hone in on that, it's smart, yes, because it makes it easier to market. And that's, like, marketing one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one is, like, knowing your audience. And they're like, who do you appeal to? Who do you want to see your content? Who do you want to like your content? And everybody's like, I want my content to be for everybody. But, like, that's obviously not the reality. And so, like, trying to make content that is everything is probably more detrimental to the cause than it's helping. But um, the hope is that, like, somebody or a group of somebodies finds a video and they like the video. And then they're like, okay, um, I think that I will watch this guy's stuff more because I found this video and it was good and I'm gonna see what else he's got and then you just gotta kinda build from there. Um, I'm really interested to see if this guy that I reached out to, I shared my socials with him and he hasn't really said anything. I was really hoping that he would get back to me and give me some sort of idea as to like what to do to gain a better traction. Um, my Reels game has been pretty lame here lately. I've been consistently paying for growth on reels, but it has not um, actually like gotten me any growth. Like, It'll get me likes and people will like the post and they'll be like, oh, that's neat. And I've had like a handful of followers gained since then, but like mostly speaking, the followers that I gained that actually interact with my content are, I've got two of them since I've started doing this. And like, I'm thinking like, obviously if I spend more money on the advertisement, then maybe I'm more liable to get something out of it. I don't know, but um, it would be nice to get a bit of a better following, a following of people who actually interact with the content and are interested in what I have to say. So I don't know where we land there, if we land anywhere there, but the hope is to land somewhere and to start gaining some sort of traction. The billboard's been up. I haven't seen any uptick in sales, and um, I don't know if a billboard is the best way to advertise a book. 
it was really kind of a letdown that I couldn't put a QR code on there. And so it's like, well, that was like my big, my big thing is I was gonna put a QR code on there and be like, oh, buy the book now. And you could go buy the book right then and there. And people might be more tempted to buy it, but that didn't really happen. I need to clean my windshield, it's gross looking. But um, yeah, so I need to figure out, like I said, growing locally seems to be a more palpable option for me. I need to figure out how to do that because um, it does. It just is not, it has not been fruitful for me so far. I've just kind of been stuck here um, trying to spin my wheels and get somewhere and like there's a lot of competition in this world like it's hard to find some niche thing that no one else is doing and like that's I feel the same way with like writing advice like there's a lot of different channels that I follow that give writing advice and I'm like do I just want to be just another person giving writing advice like that's not necessarily fun creative or it's not really what I want to do and it's like I feel like more than anything I want to entertain people like I don't you have to provide some sort of service and like I said more than anything I want to be able to entertain people I want people to watch my content and be like well that was really fun I don't know that it needs to be informative per se like informative content is fine but I don't think that's the kind of content that I want to produce is just information but information is good. It's a good way to get seen on YouTube because everyone wants um, information of some sorts and if you can provide it to them, then even better. But I wanna be the kind of channel that helps people forget about what's going on and they watch my content just to have a good time. And so we'll see um, what happens, what I wind up doing with my um, content library if I keep it as varied as it is currently or if I decide to go ahead and do something else with it I don't know but hoping that I can reach some level of completion or I don't know if completion is the right word for it but some level of accomplishment and I feel like I'm racing against time. I feel like I have until May of 25 to do these things. And then if I'm not done by May of 25, I pivot my entire life to something else. So I don't know. It's an interesting way to be. And um, really just, like I said, trying to find my way in this world and make it my own. And like, I'm fortunate that I'm in a place in life where I can afford to do these sorts of things, but it would really be nice if I could be in a place in life where I actually succeed at doing those things, if that makes any sense. So I don't know, it's just I'm like, ugh, I really want to do good by my content and get some people who actually give a crap and and want to watch and interact and all that stuff and it's like where where are they hiding how do i find them i need to at some point in time i need to revisit um advertisements on here my my weekends have been entirely too busy and um i don't know it's this weird dichotomy because like a lot of successful people will say that that they cut off a lot of people in order to become successful and it's hard for me to not understand why because like I only have so much time during the week that I can put towards things and like the weekends are my most productive times where I'm really knocking stuff out and here recently I've been pretty much doing something with somebody every weekend for the last couple of weekends. And like, I tell myself like, that's not a bad thing. Like it's a good problem to have, but it's also cutting into my productivity, which annoys me.
I um, finally finished my brother Kanan's second edit. I don't remember when I got that back. I don't remember if I got it back um, in January. If I got it back in, it would have had to have been in January because I've been working on it all February. I guess what I really mean is I don't remember if I, I think I got it back in December, honestly. I think. I am pretty sure, but with it done, I don't really have an active writing project that I'm working on right now, and so that frees up my creative time to now be doing other things, and so that's fine, I'm in a good place there, but um, at some point in time, like I'm going to need to pick up the next project, so to speak, and so... We'll see what happens. I don't know if um, the next project is, well, it's like I've got a lot of other projects going on too, and balancing a lot of things, and trying to um, figure out what I'm gonna do with advertising. I really need to figure that out because I feel like if I'm gonna get somewhere, marketing is probably a good way to get there. And I ran this blanket marketing campaign for my books, and it has gotten nowhere. I got like, apparently it was shown 2,000 times over the course of this month, and did not get a single sale. And so I was like, well that's lovely. And then, um, so I might up the ante next time and try it again but spend more money on it and see if anything happens um i don't know i am um, like i said i'm just trying to understand it because i bought this book where this guy claims that you can succeed on amazon publishing using only amazon ads and i'm really hoping that what he's saying is true but i also haven't fully attempted his strategy. So his strategy is creating these ads and then I'm, I need to create an ad that does a custom keyword search. And I haven't done that ad because it requires time and effort. And I haven't had time or effort to put into it. And so my hope here is that I will be able to um, commit to that one of these weekends, especially now that we're looking at getting into March, commit to that one of these weekends, and then um, keep running ads and keep pushing it and keep hoping that people eventually notice it and they're like, oh my gosh, okay. I need to probably run more ads on Google, on my YouTube. And maybe that'll be just what I attack this this year, is just constantly just ads, 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 ads. And like I've always said that's my only like advantage I feel like is I have the financials to throw at these ad campaigns, but if they aren't getting me anywhere, then what's the point? And like so at any rate, um that has been a morning. I don't feel like I meant to talk about what I talked about this whole time, but I talked about it, so hopefully that was enjoyable for y'all, and we'll make it a good one.